The whole purpose of the documentary is that it's been about 30 days, a little over 30 days since the death of Nipsey Hussle. We witnessed our friends and our family, the, all of social media sharing pictures and sharing song lyrics and sharing everything that Nipsey Hussle meant to each and every individual person. So we decided we wanted to do this documentary because we wanted to know whether his death and his life and everything that he's done actually had an impact on people. How did it affect you as a person? Did it affect you at all? Um, did it affect how you're going to move forward? What sort of impact did his death have? What sort of impact did his young life have? What sort of impact the things that he was doing in, in the community, did that have an effect on you and how you'll move forth in your community going forward? Grind strenuous, cash out, continuous Mogul in the making, autonomous black businesses Broken culture that we all lost, niggas in Elevated innovation over ignorance, I represent it Suburban tenant, five or less percentage Close curve, but the Mac 11 muzzle vintage Go flourish, double back and come and get your niggas Pass the power to your people, it ain't nothing really Faced with this decision, it's a funny feeling Knowing when you tell the truth, they gon' come and kill you Knowing people need some proof, we got the millions Stressed a young nigga out, but I'm so resilient In Champagne, Honda Civics, they was taking pictures Young niggas front the buildings, trying to make a living Always figured they was jealous, cause we made it quicker And never asked for no favors, nigga Look. This documentary is about Nipsey Hussle But it's not about Nipsey Hussle, the man It's more about Nipsey Hussle and his message it's more about spreading the message of Nipsey Hussle to our own community. In no way, shape, or form did my partner and I want to disrespect the legacy, the memory, or anything in regards to the family of Nipsey Hussle. We simply wanted to make sure that our community had the opportunity to be motivated in the way that he motivated others to maybe be better in our own communities. We are filmmakers and media people, so we feel the best way for us to make an impact is by showing the people, you know, the messages, the stories, the heroes, you know, of our time. And unfortunately, a lot of people learned that Nipsey was one of the heroes, you know, of our time, one of the biggest, you know, in our generation, you know, and we wanted to make sure that people of Charleston, South Carolina, had the opportunity to be motivated and learn from this person and his legacy. So, without further ado, we talk with random people. Some knew him, some didn't know him, some knew of him, and some didn't know of him until he passed. But the messages that they spoke on, we hope that they resonate within the community to help others be motivated and want to push further in their community and make things better in their community. Well, one, I would say I'm, I'm sad. The, his death had a negative impact on me because I felt like he was such a positive influence. I knew of Nipsey Hussle not because of his music, but because of his work outside of music, outside of his community. He was definitely on the front lines and on the cutting edge of non-traditional thinking with getting our young kids involved in STEM and STEAM activities, structuring those opportunities for inner city kids that most people weren't even thinking about. Mm -hmm. um, do I think that his his death is going to... Did it affect you? Did it affect me? Yeah, it did. It, 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 made, me, it made me sad, it made me inspired, but it was bittersweet because I felt like I, I wanted to be that person. I want to be that person. I'm just sad that someone didn't think he was worthy enough. Do you feel like it had an effect on how you'll move going forward? Yeah. In the community and in your personal life? Yes, it does. I do. I, I just feel like, you know, like many people are talking about who you allow in your inner circles. I think that's a very valid point. You gotta watch who you give your energy to, who you allow into your spaces with their own energy. And sometimes you have to realize everyone doesn't want to go forward. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's the lesson that's learned in this. What about for the community, um, for a lot of the younger people that heard about heard about his death and heard about the stuff that he didn't do you feel like it's going to have an effect on them i think it's already had one because you had a lot of people for every 
everybody that was talking about it, they weren't necessarily talking about it his, because of his music. They were right. talking about it because of his actions. And I think that alone is enough to say that some seeds were planted that I feel will come to fruition. We have to be open-minded more about things. Um, we can't ignore a lot of things. We have to question things more. We have to ask questions. We have to ask for directions. And um, don't be afraid when you don't know the answers. Because these gentlemen, they were before their time. They just, they believed that there was more for us. Mm -hmm. And they never gave up the fight. You know, they fought until the end. The death of Nancy Hobson definitely had an effect on Charleston um, for the most part, especially if you're an artist or into good music or into real music. You know what I'm saying? Nipsey Hussle really spit the real. Um, I was, to be honest with you, a lot of people probably haven't heard of Nipsey Hussle. I, I've heard of Nipsey Hussle a little bit. I knew he was doing something, trying to rap at the time. And unfortunately, I didn't know everything about him until he unfortunately got gunned down by his homeboy, you know what I'm saying, in the group. So once he died, you know, it you know, I noticed the effect he had on other people around the world. And it had me very curious. It had me very intrigued. So I was like, man, let me let me do my research on Nip. So, you know, I did it on social media, of course. You know, social media is very resourceful when it comes to real news or fake news. You know what I'm saying? But what I saw was real. Nip, Nip C. Hustle was real. You know what I'm saying? And they, the, his people, unfortunately, Nip C. Hustled him to death. Um, Really good dude, man. He, he he did he did everything. He was he was gang affiliated, but he was cleaning himself up. You know his his um his goal. He said his goal was like he was like in his late teens, man. He wanted to invest in real estate. And when he was interviewed by this interviewer, the man was like, "Excuse me, sir, you're I'm coming rapping. You said you wanted to invest." He was like, "Dog, going right. I want to invest in real estate and create." Charles for my family, you know what I'm saying, which he did based on his true story. And not only that, you know what I'm saying, people, homeless people, he gave homeless people jobs, man. You know what I mean? Like that's, and to be honest with you, I'm not trying to say I'm like Nipsey Hopso, but I am that man. You know what I'm saying? I always wanted to do what he did. I did, me personally, I did some of the things he did, but it was just on a large, on a smaller, affordable scale. He did it on a real base scale. So I know when I get to that, hopefully I won't be Nessie Hustle, but that's exactly what I want to do. I want to invest. I want to invest in, in businesses, probably real estate, you know what I'm saying? And everybody to get all their talents collectively, you know what I'm saying? And triumph, man, and finish the marathon, man. Let it continue, bruh. That's, what, what more can I say other than that, bruh? What else? Nipsey Hussle's influence in Charles can be can be spread out into different things. You know, he was a movement, but also uh, for people like me who grew up here, you know, not to compare Charleston to L.A. or nothing like that, but it's the neighborhood you grew up in. To grow up from someone who didn't really have much, to get to where he was, gain more knowledge about his environment and make a difference, that's something we all can do. That's not something that's just stationed in LA or Atlanta, you know, Charleston has the same amount of people, same amount of intelligence. We all out here, we just, we was just looking for somebody to lead. And we got my cousin Alfred Freya out here doing, working with the kids in the community, with sports. We got Antonio Folks with Two Geech working in the community. And another homeboy of mine, Keelon Singleton, you know, up there in Orangeburg, you know, he's, they call him Community Keys. He's doing a lot right now. You know, you always see him doing something for the community. So we out here, you know, I'm doing my own little thing, trying to help out as much as I can. And it takes, it definitely takes a village. You know, Nipsey showed us how one person can do it. And we just got to think, what if we all came together and did it together, you know? My whole view on the death of Nipsey Hussle was that I thought it brought 
a lot of awareness. It made me think a little bit different just because I knew a little bit about Nipsey Hussle and I'm going to admit that when I followed Nipsey Hussle on Twitter and he made the comments about black women, it kind of turned me off from Nipsey Hussle. So I didn't really follow him after the Twitter comments, but he did come back. He apologized. He um, just made amends for the comments that he made on Twitter. And then, but after his death was when I really started really looking at all of the things that he did in the community. But I, after realizing all of the things that he did, it just kind of, it does make you take a second look at yourself because you're, you're, you start looking at what he did. And in comparison is the death of joy. Yes, I do understand that but you start looking at the things that you're doing in the community and you start wondering am I doing enough so it did make you aware of um, some places in your life and in the world and in the community where you can do better so I think it definitely did have an impact maybe not as much of an impact as it had on other people but it definitely made me wake up a little bit more so I would say it had an a, a impact on me and I think it had an impact on a lot of people and I think that's a good thing like I, I love for people to acknowledge people that who are nobody. Yeah, mm. right. You know, like sometimes we get beast to ourselves, you mm -hmm. know, yeah. and we we think that we're more than people sometimes. Mm -hmm. But he, he just did. It, it seemed like everybody right. just loved him, mm -hmm. and it was touching just to see when he was gone. It was like mm -hmm. really, yeah. Like this was like I don't, I don't know. That was that was crazy, yeah. and just for him to be gone right in front of in right in front of his building mm -hmm. and the fact that he left behind his children mm -hmm. and the fact that his girlfriend had actually got a chance at true love like yeah. you know how you go through life and you go through things with mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. finally y'all finally get it together mm -hmm. you're like oh my god we That's finally exactly in happened. love mm -hmm. and we finally get to the basics and now it's just us yeah, yeah. yeah. and now mm -hmm. Like your life like everything just turns upside down mm -hmm. and that's just snatched away from you yeah. like that's that's you know like that's a lot yeah. that's a lot so you know it, it was just so touching in so many ways because you know as a woman you would look at that mm -hmm. as a woman and you look at her and yeah. you're like wow that could have been me because yeah. you know when you really love somebody like that that's crazy mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. people don't mind they would snatch your life away from you that's why I tell people all the time, I'm like, you gotta be careful because people will be quick. That they will snatch your life away from you. Jealousy is a spirit, and people it. don't understand how that's people a spirit. Like, yeah, like, it it's is. A, it's, it's a horrible, very much evil of spirit. A spirit. Like, it is. they really yeah. will snatch your life it away is. from you. That's why you gotta be careful about who you deal with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The people you're around, be aware of your surroundings at all times. Mm -hmm. But that's that's heartbreaking. That's that's rough. That was a rough one. And I think I think for long term, it's gonna affect you. Yeah, I think it affected everybody long term. I think it really will. Because it, it you just can't kick it out your mind. You can't forget. You just can't forget that. We hope a lot of people. And they did the worst thing is to kill him. Yeah. And anytime help come by, they try to get rid of it. But that's what they did to him. He hoped the communities. He put things together. He hoped people that couldn't help themselves. Mm -hmm. He hoped yeah. they, he might, he basically stayed along with the poor line mm -hmm. of folks yes, that needed help, and that's that's the way he worked his life. Mm -hmm. But you know when it happens like that, they always try to take God people out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he had to be a man of God. Also, they didn't mention that part. Yeah. Amen. In order to have a heart to help somebody, you got to have a heart of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he yeah, he made it. Huh? Yeah, he had a heart of God. He you know what? He had a tattoo on the side of his face that said, said God, will, God rise. will rise. Really? Mm -hmm. On the side of his face. Mm -hmm. But see, that part I didn't know, but I know I could feel him when I seen him in action mm -hmm. doing stuff before they killed him. It's like God, uh, they did him just like they did Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They, they took the man life for nothing. But he was, he was a good man. He was a good man. All good people still killed. All bad people live here. <laughs> like an old man and he was in there saying that you know he was like really down bad on mm -hmm. his luck and he used to just clean the parking lot and how Nipsey no. actually gave him Crew. a job and he we keep, came we gonna keep it pushing. Hey, and Nipsey pulled Put. up and they showed what's up? he pulled up Bros, what's and he was in his well, Mercedes I'm gonna do my day and he pulled up and he rolled the window down and said what's up to him he was like you know what jump in the car with me yeah. 
and the and the bum he got in the car with him. He got in the car like that was his homie. Yeah, yeah. And they rolled to the barber shop and he got him a haircut and all of that stuff. You know, some jewelry. Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah. You know, so it was like, you know, when you see people, that's why when I see people down on their luck mm -hmm. and I see them down, like I'm always like there to mm -hmm. want to help them in so many ways. And I say nothing about it. Mm -hmm. It's things that I've done for people that nobody would ever know mm -hmm. because that's sometimes those are personal things, personal relationships mm -hmm. that you build with people. I have relationships with people that people don't even know I have relationships mm -hmm. with. Because I'm not on social media with yeah. it. I'm not on nothing. You got to be genuine. Yeah. You got to leave something behind. So my name is uh, Archie. I made this cake. Uh, so the passing of Nipsey, uh, it was almost like it touched home because he did so much for the community. Uh, he was a great role model to kids. Um, and when he passed, it just seems like a piece of that community, whatever he built over there, it was missing. So I felt sorry for him. So mm -hmm. my heart goes out to him. I feel like out of anything, his death affected social media the most. Mm -hmm. And it affected people who honestly weren't even true Nipsey fans until he died. Like he had to die to make a statement or, you mm -hmm. know, to be seen or be heard. Because a lot of people didn't take the time to listen to his music to see what he was really about and his movement and what he wanted to do with the black community and just people in general until he died. So it's sad that people have to die in order to be recognized um, this day and age, but I mean, I felt like he, in the end, he did, his life did make a positive impact on people. Mm -hmm. um, it did have a negative effect on the black community, but mm -hmm. positively, I feel like it was more so motivation for other people to step up and do the right thing, because we still have other, you know, leaders that we can look to like T.I. and David Banner and Black, you know, um, Black Mike. So it's, it's a lot of people that we can still look to, to, you know, for guidance and for help and, you know, and what the, the right direction to go. Yeah, we, we, got a, we got a lot of Nipsey hustles around here. Papa Smurf, one of them. And um, Blazing Cuts. Blazing Cuts. Carl Lewis. Carl Lewis, oh. and then you know, there's a lot, man. We just gotta support them boy. Don't wait till them boy. Don't wait till them boy die, and you know we need you to give you. We need to give them their flowers so they can smell them now, instead of later. And even in the south, um, Ti, Killer Mike, David Banner. David Banner had a whole book out here. Let y'all know what's going on out here. So, you know, we all got our Nipsey hustles and we just got to acknowledge them boys why they're alive and what they're doing for the community. So, you know, RP Nipsey Hustle. Okay, so after watching all of the commentary, all of the comments from everyone in the community, how did Nipsey Hustle's death affect you? Did it affect you at all? Are you going to move different going forward? Did it have a positive effect on you? In what way? Are you going to do something different in your community, in business, in the world? You're going to make a difference in the world. Let us know in the comments.